I've known Dave since 1969 or 1970. Do the math. Um, can you do the math for me? <laughs> we met at school. So we just got interested just making sounds. You know, if you're a Streisand fan, you might not like Ronaldo on the Loaf, but who knows? It's, it's different. They had some guitars and some combs and some rulers that used to go Bar. I have no problem with weird as a description, but a lot of times weird is a way of dismissing something. What people called weird is the stuff that actually gave us the excitement to do what we do. We weren't trying to be a commercial or successful band or anything. For it to actually happen was just a bit stunning, really. As I saw it, they had a bond through their crusty bachelorness. Our friendship was very much born out of the music, of course, and that was what glued us together. We didn't used to meet up and do other things. It's not uncommon for bands to break up. Probably by the time we stopped playing, we'd been working together for about 17 years. That 20 years, in some way, was necessary for what happened next. It's a rare thing for that kind of band to exist anyway, let alone be the kind of band that breaks up and gets back together. In the 22nd, 23rd century, I think they'll be giants. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Ronald and Love. Why not? Here we go. 